is Melissa Kale. I'm with B Technologies, and I'm going to go over a few new uh, carrier module features with you today. So just to start, I wanted to give a little bit of background on V Technologies and ship gear. Uh, v Technologies has been in business and producing integrated shipping solutions since 1989. Our ship gear product has been integrating popular accounting and ERP systems since 2000, uh, starting with our UPS World Ship Link. An integration to FedEx Ship Manager quickly followed, giving our customers more choice in their carrier. And now launching in summer of 2015, our post office module, and that is by Disha. Here's a list of the supported accounting systems that we work with. We work with QuickBooks Pro, Premier, and Enterprise, Sage 50, Microsoft Dynamics GP, Sage 100, and Exact Macola. So why should you use Shipgear? Um, here's a list of some of the benefits that you receive when using Shipgear. Customers will improve efficiencies in their warehouse by integrating directly to their orders or invoices. You'll save time processing shipments with direct access to these document types. Shipgear will improve your data entry accuracy. Uh, shippers can quickly and accurately ship packages. Uh, you'll reduce the chances of having incorrect address getting flowed into the carrier system. This will lower any fees or chargebacks associated with the wrong address information being inputted into the carrier system. Shipgear will also write back shipping information back to the accounting system. So your customers will see tracking information and shipping info directly on their order or invoice. And you'll also be able to bill correct shipping charges back to the order. You can also use our custom freight rules module to apply your own custom shipping rate back into the order or invoice. And included with Shipgear is a new dashboard that's new in version four. This gives you quick access to shipment history. Um, you can run reports on all carriers. So you can run metrics on your shipping charges. And with Shipgear, we give you the ability to create your own customization. We have a customizable interface. So you can adjust ship gear to fit your needs. You can change the field mappings and how information is flowing between your accounting system and Indicia. This lets you automatically select, for example, carrier and service information based on your ship via field in your order or invoice. For example, you can have ship gear select either first class or priority mail as you import your orders into Indicia automatically. Since we can access your accounting system, we also have access to the ERP custom fields. So you can use those type of fields for reference field information, shipping notifications, uh, carrier billing information. And you can also use those custom fields inside our custom email notification system. That's our e-notify system. That gives you the ability to include your logo, links to the website, uh, coupon codes, and we give the ability to change the template, change colors, fonts, and put links back into your website. And you could also use, as I mentioned before, our custom freight rules. This lets you create custom freight charges to add a handling or automate the billing charges with a flat rate. So I use uh, the post office with Shipgear. This module does support all the major uh, USPS services like first class mail, priority mail, uh, parcel select, media mail, and critical mail. You're able to reduce shipping charges with the new commercial pricing with no minimum shipping requirements. And here's some information on these special rates. Uh, v Technologies has partnered with Parcel Partners to receive reduced parcel rates. You can see at least a 20% savings over UPS or FedEx with these special rates. And we have a special link for um, signing up for this account to be tied to those uh, discounted rates. Um, we can send a follow up with this information here, but here is the website link. Um, it's on the Indicia website to tie in that account to the uh, new rates that we've uh, negotiated with Parcel Partners. And there's also additional information that you can find on our website. If you go to shipgear.com, we do have information on all our carriers. And um, if you'd like to reach sales, we're at the 800 number. And our email is sales at vtechnologies.com. So at this point, what I was going to do is show you our new Indicia module. So 
what you're looking at here is Indicia Professional. This is the Indicia software that Indicia will provide to you. Um, when you sign up for an account, you will be able to download this. It's a desktop software. It's very similar to what you may be using already with either UPS or FedEx. So you, you will need either an order number or an invoice number. Um, if you're using QuickBooks, we can also pull off of a sales receipt. You can also put in either a question mark or a hashtag sign to pull up a list of uh, open sales orders. So for this example, I'm just going to punch in my sales order number and hit the Enter key. And what this is doing is grabbing right from the ship to address information um, in QuickBooks. So this demo is connecting to my QuickBooks company. So what you'll see here is contact information, company name, and shipping address flow in. We've also brought in city state zip. You can verify the address right here in Site and to let you know that that address is correct. And what I've also done is set up a mapping to pull over the mail type. So this is going to go priority mail. You can also set up ship gear to pull package value if you'd like to insure the packages. So you'll see here a $57 um, total has been brought over from the order. And we can also bring in additional information such as their email address and phone number. Indicia has many reference fields and rubber stamps that you can use to store additional information. You'll see that the reference field 2 and rubber stamp 1 contain the sales order number. You can also bring over info like the PO number. I've put in a personalized message to always pull in um, as a thank you for rubber stamp 3. So any custom fields that you want to store some additional information in, you can um, store that and bring that over for rubber stamps 1 through 10, which is a nice feature for tracking purposes or if um, you wanted to add something to the label. So basically all that we have left today to ship this particular package is to enter the weight in. And you'll see here that we will hit this print label to print out the label. All the printing and any scale information is all handled through Indicia. Since everything's coming accurately off of QuickBooks, all we have to do is print the label. And you'll see here, here's an example of what this label would look like your shipping information and the ship to info. You'll see that the rubber stamp information has also been printed out. So what I'm going to do now is go into QuickBooks and pull up that order. So you'll see here, this is the sales order number that we just shipped off of, uh, 17012. You'll see that the address information is pulled right from the ship to, here's that PO number again in the ship via code that we translated over to automatically grab the ship to information. And you'll see here that we've added a new line item. You can choose your own um, line item code to write back to if you're a QuickBooks user. If you're using other accounting systems, we'll update into a notes field with this information. And you have control of what type of information gets sent back. I've chosen to add ship down date, uh, tracking number information, shipment weight, number of packages, and the service type. And what I've also chosen to do is take advantage of our free rules module to add a $10 flat rate fee back into QuickBooks. You can either set up freight rules or you can always write back the standard rate that's coming from the post office. And one final thing that I did want to show you is our dashboard that's new in version 4. The dashboard's a really nice tool that can be used on anyone's screen um, as long as you have access to the network. So install this on anyone's computer that may be fielding tracking information like a customer service rep or if someone that just wants to keep an eye on shipping, they can go into this um, module here and it is included as part of your ship gear license now. So you'll see here you can run um, widgets to show you which carriers you're using. We give you a way to look at different periods. So if you wanted to see this over 12 months versus the last 30 days, you can do so. If you drill down into the chart, you'll see additional information. So you'll see here that um, anything on May. For the post office, I, I can see here because I've drilled down into those uh, margins there. And then when you double click on the particular shipments, it'll bring up additional information um, such as the shipping info, source information, which is where you pulled from your accounting system, 
which carrier that you used, and it also gives you a breakdown of package information and the shipping charges. So let's take a quick look at the one we just did. So you can also pull shipments right from our history view. We'll refresh that to pull up the one we just um, just shipped. So you'll see here similar information, tracking number, and then you'll also see here, since I use freight rules, that you'll be indicated that a freight rule was set up, so the customer was charged $10 per package. And you can also search easily through this search function here. If you have the tracking number, their PO number, you can use that to search for any uh, tracking information, which is useful. If they lost their email with the tracking info or their invoice, you could quickly pull this up and let them know their tracking information. So any questions on that so far? Kathy, you seen anything come through? Well, um, while you're on this screen, we did have a question come through about the section where you entered the weight. There's also the dimensional uh, field where you can enter length, width, and height. And the question is, um, do you have to enter the dimensions of the box each time you process the order, or is there an advantage to doing so? There are a few advantages to putting in your dimensions. The post office has, um, through the parcel partners contract that we have, um, certain dimensions do get a better shipping rate, so we do encourage you to enter in the dimensions. And you can also store different types of packaging inside Indicia, so you can create your own custom packaging, add that in there, and that way you can just um, for example, uh, pull in the small box here had um, seven by seven by seven for the length with height. So you don't have to manually enter that in each time. Thank you, that, that was a good question because it's really what I see about this change in adding the US Postal Service as an optional carrier um, with all the changes that FedEx and U UPS undergone through this uh, the beginning of the year with length, width, and height, there's significant weight savings that you will find using the post office. That's and right. It's due to those dimensional requirements and changes that they made. So there, there's uh, significant rate savings to make the move over to USPS. Okay, it looks like there was one question about, uh, yes, you do require having an Indicia account. Um, they have what's called the Indicia Professional. It is $24.95 a month to access the Indicia account with that. Um, we also have a way to get you in touch with a USPS rep to see about getting that fee waived if you have enough volume. So feel free to reach out to us and we can help you out on that. Okay, good. And um, another question, can I still use regional rate boxes? Yes. Let's see here. And then it looks like there's another question on if you have a current Indicia account. Yes, I would recommend that you uh, switch over to the new account through that link that we provided. You can um, downgrade your existing Indicia account to um, a, just a Dymo stamps only. There's no charge to keep that account open if you're doing it with those stamps only. That way you uh, store your historical information and then um, you can set up ship gear with that new account. Okay. One question, um, we currently use ship gear with QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions version 15 and what would be the cost to add this service, both the additional ship gear cost and the Indicia cost? Okay, yeah, great question. So the post office module is considered an additional carrier module. For a QuickBooks Enterprise user, the cost is a one-time fee of 440. If you're current on a maintenance plan, that's going to cover you for any updates to all the carriers you have on file and your subscription plan does stay the same rate you've been paying yearly. So the module fee is truly just a one-time cost. And then the Indicia, does, they do have the monthly fee of the 34.95. Okay. Thank you. And another question from a Sage customer. We use Sage when um, now 
it's not specified, but it says Sage ERP. And um, they're saying we use Sage ERP to track inventory and shipments. Will this work with that system, or is QuickBooks needed? So maybe we can clarify what what ERP system this Yeah, this with. demo purpose, um, I just had QuickBooks running. It works the same way for any of the uh, supported systems that we already have. So yeah, Sage 100, Sage 50, QuickBooks, uh, Macola, and GP are all supported with the new Indicia um, uh, module. All right, another question, what is the one-time cost for Great Plains? That would be twelve ninety-five. And Kathy, maybe you want to put up that poll so we know who we should send that information to. Oh, yeah. So if you have any um, pricing questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. We're going to take a poll um, just so we know who's interested in additional information. Um, we'll take a look at your account and get you over a quote. Just getting through the questions here. Uh, question from Tony. With no minimum quantities, will USPS still pick up at our location for free? So I think that, that goes into um, the, the no minimum requirements and what type of level of service they would expect to get. Yes, the post office, that, that will not change um, your your services with the post office. Nothing will change on that end. And if everyone can um, click on the screen, yes or no, if you'd like a direct follow-up from one of our representatives at B Technologies. I'll uh, close this poll in a minute. Looks like answers are still coming through. Um, filtering through. If you will have any more questions, we will stay on the line. You can buy yourself some time for the rest of the day if, um, if there are no other questions. Um, just at this point, since we are wrapping up, I wanted to thank you all for your time today. And we do have representatives standing by. Um, Melissa, if you want to um, maybe let's close this poll and then we'll um, get back to the contact information. Sure. And then I will also look through the questions. If there's anything that we haven't answered, I'd be happy to get in touch with you. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to be busy today because we have 88% of uh, the audience is um, interested in a follow-up. So we'll be reaching out to you with a follow-up email. Um, there is a recording available of this presentation as well that will be sent to all registrants today that uh, whether um, you were able to attend today's session or if um, you have those that you know that missed the session, we will be sending the recording out to you as well. Well, thank you for your time, everyone. I'm going to just um, stay on the line for a few minutes to make sure that there are no more questions coming through. We want to make sure we get through everybody's question. And if not, we'll be um, reaching out to you or you know how to contact us. Thank you so much for your time today. And thank you, Melissa. Thank you.